Hi, it's John, back with another video quick tip. This time I thought I would introduce you to a technique I use for fall foliage. Um, it's a product, Alien Skin Snap Art, that I'm a big fan of, and this is something I do quite frequently, especially with foliage images. So, let's go into Photoshop. I'm gonna go to Filter, Alien Skin Snap Art. There is no need to create a duplicate layer. Uh, alien Skin will do that for us. On the left side of the Alien Skin interface, you'll see various categories, including pencil sketch and photo, uh, uh, I'm sorry, crayon and comics and color pencil and pointillism and on and on and on. I tend to use impasto and oil paint. And you just open these up and you can see some of the presets that are there. So here is detailed in the oil paint, which looks beautiful, I think. The one I tend to default to is the detailed, at least for fall foliage, is detailed in the impasto. Let's investigate a little bit on the right. Uh, I'm not gonna do much over here, but the canvas is onto something custom. I prefer just to be transparent. And I don't know if you noticed, but that took away that uh, texture that's inherent to that canvas. So I tend to turn that off. We do have some capabilities that are quite powerful. So I'm going to bring the photorealism up a little bit. Think about that as bringing back some of the actual photograph um, and maybe not as much as the look. Uh, it's almost like an opacity slider, if you will. And then the paint thickness can get a little bit much on this particular preset. So I'm gonna dial that paint thickness down. The other thing on this preset is the saturation gets a little bit crazy, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit and not be so over the top with the saturated colors. Other than that, I'm not going to do a whole lot. You can go and, and look through these presets and see and refine them to your taste is the key. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply to that, and let's see what we get here. It's going to, As I said, it's going to create its own layer, so there's no need to create a background layer or a duplicate copy, if you will. So there we go, I can turn that on and off. For me, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for something that you're gonna to respond to and say, oh, that's an interesting painterly look. I want it to be a little more subtle. To do that, I'm gonna go up here. This is the area where the opacity slider is, and right now it's set at 100%. I'm gonna bring that opacity slider down to something like 50 or so, I, anywhere between 40 to 60 depending on the picture and here we are before and here's the after i just love what it does it adds this softness to a scene that can sometimes look overly crunchy is that the right word sometimes foliage just can look too detailed maybe that's the right word and this kind of softens that up just a little bit makes the colors nice and saturated i really like what it does i'm going to go ahead and and create a, a stamped layer and just introduce you to one last thing I tend to do if I'm doing this. I'm gonna go into Topaz Studio Clarity, one of my all time favorite plugins. I'm a huge fan of Topaz, as many of you know. Uh, and all I'm gonna do is bring back a little bit of the detail because that softens it almost more than I want. I wanna be somewhere in between. So if you remember, now in Topaz Studio, Clarity resides there. And, and all you do, you're doing when you open up Clarity is it's, it's putting these panels in place on the right side for you. And the only one I want to pay attention to is my precision contrast, which in effect is the clarity panel. And I'm just going to go down to where I've already created a preset and I'm going to choose that. And this preset is just making these sliders uh, to set in these predetermined positions. It's one that I like to use. And that's all I'm going to do and hit OK. And there we have it. So let's turn these off. It's gonna be a little hard to see that clarity one, but trust me, I think it's a good thing to do. So here we are with the, the image right out of Lightroom. Here's with Alien Skin Snap Art in Pasto, dialed down to about 50% between the two layers. And here we are with just a little bit of uh, Topaz's clarity added back in. Hopefully you find there are some value in that tip. 
maybe makes the, the foliage images a little different than, than what you're used to seeing. Uh, I'll put a link in, in the uh, newsletter if you'd like to go take a look at Alien Skin and, and perhaps purchase that for your collection. You'll be able to click on that link. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you next month.